Where else would you rather be than next to your radio or computer listening to the J Red Show on 90.7 The Music FM? Well, anyhow, um, time to talk about the Buffalo Bills and the quarterback search. I won't take a lot of time on this because I know a lot of people, fans, are just sick and tired of hearing it. But, um... A lot of fans are sick and tired of hearing it and I, we're, just, we're just right waiting for the draft to start. It's two weeks away. It's gonna seem like forever for for Bills fans, but there's um, a mock draft recently released. Um, if the Bills can get Josh Rosen without trading up, um, this is what um, Warren said. When the Bills traded Tyrod Taylor, most observers know that the two first round picks were. They were likely going to move up again to quarterback in 2018. However, when they traded Cordy Glenn, they moved from 21 to 12 and further solidifying the, the pick thinking. Without a trade up, a possibility in this mock, the Buffalo had to sit and wait for the fourth quarterback to be drafted. But that doesn't mean he's the fourth quarterback on the board. Allen's big arm and measurables make him an intriguing prospect, but he's likely to have to sit behind McCarron in 20. Brandon Bean has mentioned a preference for arm strength over accuracy, and Allen Al is similar to Cam Newton, who is the Panthers. Um, it's understandable why fans don't like Allen. He's erratic and an accurate passer who seems has more tools and skill. But it's clear that people in the NFL like him. So much that he's he heavily in the discussion for not only the top five pick, but oh, the top pick overall. So, um... Most of us, um, so, um, he, Allen's more like Kyle Bowler. He's big, strong, and can throw the ball a mile, but has a poor feel for the game and lacks accuracy. So that's another warning sign. But still, if we can get Allen, I mean, yes, he has, he has some b bad parts of his game, but I'll, I like him better than most of the quarterbacks, um, that we have. I mean, I, according to the vote, um, on Buffalo Bills rumblings, 64% say yes, 26% say no, 10% say not sure. Um, so, I was told that, um, let's see. Um, I, I, some fans are not on board with the pick. I mean, I'm reading this, um, he looks like a quarterback that has a physique. We've done that before, like Lossman and Manuel. So I can understand why fans are a little worried. He'll need to sit behind McCarron for a year or two. I don't believe in the, the Bills are in a position to provide that. I view his upside being like a Blake Bortles, his downside being unlimited. The positive thing here is that it'll take, if we take him at 12, they will still have other picks to tail around McCarron. Um, but I like how fans are, uncer are certain that Allen will not succeed. Um, there's lots to agree and disagree with those that don't like Allen, but out of the top quarterback, because he does have the lowest floor. Yet for a variety of reasons I laid out, I don't think it'll happen. If everything comes together, Allen will be a very special player and want to lead the team in, that drafts him for a long time. The potential is scared, crazy good. If only some things come together, you'll still have a very good quarterback and a solid starter. If things don't come together at all, you'll have a really bad player. Based on everything I've read and seen about Allen, combined with, with I have a lot of faith, more than some for sure, in the current coaching staff, the odds are of nothing coming together is pretty low, and that's why Allen the top quarterback prospect for a great pick for his draft. Um, I get the pick, but I'm personally up picking up Lamar Jackson is between the two. I think Lamar really does have a Randall Cunningham upside. The less Josh Allen sits, the, the lower his ceiling and his floor is to me. And it seems like Randall <laughs> to him if he would hesitate to endorse the guy. Cunningham, who started um, for the Eagles in the 80s and 90s, told the Courier Journal this week in the advanced Friday night's game between the, between Louisville and Duke that Jackson has become his favorite college player. Um, Cunningham scrambling and a privileged playmaking tormented defenses and led to some of the most memorable highlight real plays of his era. 
now a high school era coach, now high, now high school coach in Las Vegas. He trails only Vic in his NFL rushing, in a rushing yards by quarterback. When something breaks down, the instance that a quarterback has the entire, has an athlete to, has to cover. Um, and when t they take over, it's hard to stop that. I believe that Jackson has natural instincts, which I had the natural instincts. The whole thing is loving the game in a way that you only not believe in yourself, but you believe in that you have the play and when it's at that time. The pressure has captivated the quarterback to the top of the NFL. You can be a statistical, a statistical maniac at a, at a great pressing school, and that's cool, but then you have to get into the NFL, and those instincts don't take over when you have to run a good or an extra three or four yard step to set up a third and so short rather than take a sack and beat in a third and long. Those instincts are what keeps players and, and the teams winning. And he has something in that. Jackson's much talked about third down scramble on Louisville's final drive against Clemson when Jackson dodged three defenders to avoid a sack before throwing an incomplete pass. It is an example of the kind of incentive play that impresses the Cunningham. I don't trust the Bills to sit Allen for over a season. If they do, he could be tremendous. But I give, but I give, but I have grave doubts that about given how quick, I have great, I have great doubts about that given how quickly they into their tenure, the new regime, switched to a fifth round prospect that wasn't ready to play. What happens when McCarron has three rough, has a, what happens when McCarron has a rough three game stretch, or when the Bills start throwing two and four? They'll throw Allen in there. He's the twelfth pick of the draft. Um, Allen has higher potential, but I think Jackson's far more likely to reach his potential. Jackson looked like he had a better grasp of the position while facing quality opponents, whereas Allen looked like he didn't understand the position well, even though they played into an inferior conference. I have a hard time imagining a college quarterback who could dominate in college and could somehow be dominant in the NFL. Um, um, I think Allen would be a better path. Um, I think we should consider um, Josh Allen as well. Allen doesn't seem to have the ego that Cam has. However, he does have the passing ability and even the running ability that Newton has. He might be a better passer, but he's nowhere near Cam's number. My concern with Cam comparison is that Newton is a, a, a bit of an anomaly. Not, not a lot of guys can do what he does that, as a runner, and I haven't have seen anything from Allen that makes me think that he's on Newton's level. Allen can run and move around. He's not Peyton Manning standing back there, but he's not Cam Newton. While I like the Panthers, I don't want to be the Panthers. If we do take Allen because Rosen and Mayfield aren't available, then my hope is that McDermott turns Allen to a pocket pantser, not Cam Newton 2.0. You undoubtedly can win with a dual threat. Panthers and Seahawks have. However, until I see a dual threat quarterback playing at elite level at age 35 or 34, I'll take the pocket passer every day of the week. Um, but I think a lot of people are underplaying how good a prospect Newton was. In the season before he declared, before he declared, he had 51 touchdowns through 66.1% of completion percentage. He had averaged 5.6 yards a carry. He had almost as many rushing yards as Allen. Allen had 21 touchdowns. He threw 56%. He's averaged 2.2 yards in the in the Mountain West. Newton was already was ready to lead the franchise from day one. Newton was turned the Panthers' or offense around quickly. He was 12 and 34 by his third season. Allen could be great, but he's not ready to start day one. Um, it, but it would, could be a good choice, though. I like I love the choice. The right choice, I would do it again. Jackson at 12 would be a mistake. Taking this position other than a quarterback would be a huge mistake. Waiting um, for tw um, 22 and taking Jackson, assuming that at this point a team like Arizona doesn't take him with their pick, would also be a mistake. Um, here's the list of quarterbacks to take at 22nd. Grossman for the Bears, Brady Quinn, um, Brandon Whedon, and Johnny Mazzell for the Browns, and Lossman for the Bills. This is not exactly a who's a who amount in the NFL elite quarterbacks. Being an NFL quarterback, in my opinion, requires three important parts. One, that you have the basic skill set of physical ability to play, to play the game. I think both Allen and Jackson hear this. Two, that you have the mental ability to break down the game, to get past errors, and to be a student of the game. Honestly, this is the question mark of both players. And three, you have to understand that it's your job, that there are certain things you have to do and certain ways to do it. Allen has shown, has, has shown he, has, he is doing this. He is putting up the prep work. He is working through the throwing gurus. He's taking the necessary steps to be a pro football player. Jackson ch uh, chose his mother to be a free agent because it really will save money since the contracts are all the same. Yet he has missed out on the advice you get when he wasn't prepared for the combine. 
He has not been working out with any quarterbacks, throwing gurus, and has shown he's passing the programs. He's not getting it back to the curves who are reaching out to him to try to get and set up meetings. This is a huge problem, even as fans, but getting it back to the clubs who are reaching out to him to try to set up meetings. This is a huge problem, even if we as fans don't think so. It says a lot about, it says a lot about Jackson's own understanding of what he is about to set up to, step into. Up until this point, in most of these players' careers, it's been easy. Their natural ability has allowed them to be better than just about any person they are playing against. The problem now is the NFL, even the worst, is even the NFL, even the worst guys on teams are about 1,000 times better than 99% of the players they face in a week. They will be able to rely on their natural ability anymore. And to date, Jackson has not shown me he understands his actions. While well, a decision to rely on um, mother and lawyers to manage the pre-draft process of contract negotiations may prove to be detrimental. Um, the, the way Allen's perceived desire to put work into it seems to be that people are implying that Jackson is not putting in the work to become, it's not put in the work to become professional. By all accounts, while Louisville and Jackson was incredibly hardworking, coachable player who did nothing to put the work in his game and specifically worked to improve his play for the pocket. Um, so what are your thoughts on this? Hit me on Twitter at JRed Show. Who should the Buffalo Bills draft? Two weeks away. Um, we'll play a legal ID and then we'll get back into the music. Hit, hit me on Twitter at JRed Show and 9.7 of the Music FM. Casting live from the third floor of Genesee Community College, this is WGCC FM Batavia. Your home for Batavia's best music, commercial free. 90.7 FM. Good music. 